All right, off to work. Doing some streaming this afternoon on Twitch. Um, just working on some regular stuff. Still working on that Stormtrooper armor for the babes, but I got my other lenses printed out, so we'll actually have the green lenses in there for their helmets. I just have to keep painting and painting this stuff because it's hard to keep white. Um, there'll be probably a lot of touch-up paint. I gotta put nylon in the arms of one of the sets of armors so it actually fits, but still working on it, but hopefully I'll get there. The problem is, a lot of times I'm doing work work, and not like my own projects. So like by the time I'm done with work work, I only work on my own projects for a little bit. So it's hard to actually get that stuff done on my own because um, it's not actual work. So yeah. Um, so I'll check in later about that storage armor, but also just check in later. Maybe when we're streaming again. I don't know. I gotta get some exciting content for the, these vlogs. Not that it's for to actually entertain people it's for my own a lot of my own uses of actually staying on a routine or informing people what's going on in my life I don't necessarily need to entertain people um but it's hard when I'm like this isn't this is kind of boring and not entertaining when I like edit it at the end of the night so um hopefully I'll get some good stuff today we'll see so I haven't vlogged our stream is already done on the stream, I tried to get the Stormtrooper helmets on the boys. Wouldn't fit, so then I had to cut even more out the side. So we'll see if they work now. I fitted them, they kind of, they fit decently on them now, but we'll see. Um, so I'm spraying those right now, but also my phone died, so I couldn't vlog. I don't know, it just died. It must have been running too much, or I don't know. But yeah, so I'm working on these now. So third night in a row that the moon's been like full moon huge it looks so much better right now not in video it just looks like once again a big light bulb but that's the moon right there it's like big full moon you can see all the detail in it and everything right now but yeah but yeah didn't really vlog today i think i only got two videos in my vlog today my phone died at one point and just not doing the greatest um, doing the vlog. So, try to get you something. Some type of video. Got all three boys in here. Got the twins and my boy. But yeah, I'll try to show you a few things before I go to bed. My dinner. Hot Pocket. Some cheese pretzels. <laughs> and... Canada dry. Yeah, this is going to be my dinner. Um, I guess there's not a lot in this vlog. So I'll explain a story after I eat about something that happened today that was kind of traumatizing, kind of messed up, and it was kind of... didn't know what to do. But I'll explain a little bit, and then I'm going to show you something about these boys in a second, too, to just give you a little content about my day. Okay, so the story of what happened earlier. So when I was driving to work, I go up this, like, little roundabout thing up onto, like, a bridge that goes right to the street that I'm kind of going to or whatever. I see a car pulled over in the, like, turning lane where I need to actually go to turn in onto the street. But farther up is the street, so I'm going to have to go around them. So I have to merge onto the actual bridge road. So I'm, like, actually merging, and I look back. And as I'm merging, because the car is parked with the flashers on or whatever, I look back there, and there was some type of giant animal on the road, laying on the road, and I saw its, like, tail or back, like, flap, like, poof, poof, and, like, hit the ground, and I was like, ah! It's, like, someone hit, or, like, roadkill, or, I don't know, but it's it was still alive, so it happened recent, and then as I'm driving by the car that's like like has his flashers on, I look, and their whole windshield was just shattered. Like, completely shattered. I don't think I saw anyone even in the car. Um, so then I, like, actually got in front of them and then went to work or whatever. But I was so, like, distraught and didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I needed to go back and help or, like, call someone or something. And I was just hoping someone would call someone. But I couldn't find anyone to get any advice. So then I just went on with my day. But 
it just seems like lately a lot of devastating things are happening to animals and it's kind of kind of depressing <laughs> like uh, why do i keep seeing all these terrible things happening to animals right now ah it's not good but yeah the whole like tail flap knowing it's still alive was like uh not cool but yeah so that's my little story from today um didn't vlog a lot like i said my phone died but um yeah that's about it uh gonna show you some stuff with boys in a bit so what i want to show you is my goal for these boys so this is my boy my original boy i got one of these doll stands i took it off like an old doll my sister had it like left at the house and that we're getting rid of and i want to put it up the back of their cloak and then if you it'll like expand and go around his neck or whatever but actually it's backwards right now because I'm a crazy person, and I don't know how it spun backwards. Anyways, sorry. So you go up around his neck. Alright. Now I think I messed it up when I spun it. I don't know, dude. Alright. Up around his neck, and then under his bum. So he can stand. But if you string it through the... Through his jacket, you can epoxy or glue or screw things into the bottom, like feet, and then it could be a little bit taller, and his feet, and you don't even see the actual stand. Or you can just do that, and he actually, on normal ground, stands a lot better, because he has that around his neck. Now, with these boys, because these aren't going to make good for their Stormtrooper outfits, I have found this is the best I could do I wanted to find just all black but I found it like black with gray sleeves so I might do one of these for now um, over them and I have some black pants so they don't have feet for now not sure what I'm gonna do if I get them some feet then I can make the leg armor for the stormtrooper armor too but I'll probably just do one of these on top first um, and put all the armor on but the issue is, people are like, oh, but then you have to get this thing off of him. It comes off pretty well. His arms come out of the thing. But the only thing connecting it is literally this little zip tie is connected to this little, like, um, ribbon piece. So if I cut that ribbon, we can actually get this off of him. Um, so he can put other clothes on. But that's what's going to happen for these boys for when I put this outfit on under the Stormtrooper outfit. So... Just wanted to kind of show that since that's progress with these guys and what's going on. But yeah, now I got them all in package, so they're all in bed. Woo woo. But yeah, so I think that's going to be it for tonight. I'm going to go to bed in a little bit because I got to go to Matchbox tomorrow before I go to work so and get some stuff done. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for watching and peace.